second. Thank you. Yes, a lot of fans and a lot of downtown employees keeping their fingers crossed tonight. The mother of a toddler was able to push her child out of harm's way just before she was struck and killed by a Metrolink train. Please say that. A female LAPD officer has recently made history. Captain Regina Scott is the experts say crude oil prices were on the decline until last week, which suggests that this may be the end of falling gas prices. Rick? Too bad. Mm. In tonight's health news, good news for parents of children with autism. Today, Governor Jerry Brown approved a measure that will require health plans to include coverage for autism as a medical benefit. Well, a man with a gun in North Hollywood is dead tonight after a confrontation with L.A. police officers. Dave Meekham is live in North. Is that tax free? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I always wonder that. Well, the former city of Bell police chief wants the city to pay legal expenses he incurred while defending himself against corruption allegations. The start of the NBA's regular season is in some serious trouble tonight. Now, if no deal is reached by Monday, the commissioner says the first two weeks of games will be canceled. Casey Lay's Rebecca Hall is live in downtown LA with a preview of how things may look if tonight's negotiations fail to produce an agreement. And uh, Rick, now we're going to send it over to you for a check on the legacy. And I'm uh, Mary Beth McDade. Now in this half an hour, remembering the icon, Steve Jobs. He changed the way we compute, listen to music, and watch movies. And tonight, a look back at his legacy. Plus, what's in store for the future of Apple? Business columnist Michael Hiltzik joins us with a look at the blueprint left behind by Jobs and a glimpse of where we can expect the company to go from here. Then in our next half an hour, are people's rights to medical marijuana going up in smoke? We're going to talk with two attorneys who will be taking action against the federal government's crackdown. But first, let's send it back over to Rick and find out what's happening at this hour. Rick? And be some Thanks, Rick. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs transformed the way we live and communicate with his innovations in computer technology. Frank Buckley has more on the life and times of Steve Jobs. Well, many people are still sad by the death of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. And Jobs is a pioneer in just so many different ways that his legacy will live on forever. Columnist Michael Hiltz, how will Jobs be remembered for years to come? Well, people are saying they don't believe that Cook has what it takes, that they, he really is a number two man. He's not a leader. In your opinion, do you think I've, and that he was the true genius behind a lot of these products? If you can talk a little bit about the dynamic between Jobs and Ive, I understand that the two were so close, they were often seen walking around the compound together, bouncing ideas off each, each other, and uh, many people who worked at Apple called them Jives. Yeah, well. Sure. Well, still ahead, Al Davis' motto was just win, baby. I'm Mary Beth McDade. Welcome to the Cage Lay 5 Sunday edition. Rick. Hi, everybody. I'm Rick. Well, Rick, the start of the NBA's regular season, it hangs in the balance tonight. The key figure is in the late. Well, if you filled up your gas tank lately, then you probably noticed you're paying a little bit less at the pump. Uh, one of the hottest columns in the LA Times is the Ministry of Gossip. And joining us now is that comms author. First of all, thank you for coming in on oh, Sunday welcome. on your weekend. Paul McCartney mm -hmm. got married. Who did he marry? How did they meet? And was it this big, splashy event like his wedding to Heather Mills or not well, so much? With the Twitter. Yes. Now, how about Jaja? You know, we spoke with her husband yesterday, and he said that she had a really high fever and that mm -hmm. some... And now Michael Jackson. There was a big tribute put on by some of his family members yesterday day in Wales. Tell us about that and how with the stars, yes. big show, a lot mm -hmm. of people say Kristen Cavallari was one of the best dancers on there yes. and are very upset that she was voted off. They mm -hmm. say Chaz should have been the one voted off. Still ahead, you know, we are in for a real warm up here in Southern California. Jim is going around. Tell us about that. If you're watching the Ken i uh, Mary Beth McDade. Still ahead in tonight's edition, cutting off the social network for criminals. Senator Alex Padilla joins us live with a look at how his bill could keep inmates from committing crimes while still behind bars. Also, launching a war from an iPad. There's an app for that. Yeah, believe it or not, how iPads are changing the game for the Pentagon. But first, the NBA in trouble. Let's go over to Rick Chambers with a look at what's happening at this hour. Rick. Thank you. Of smuggling cell phones into prison inmates. It's a hot button topic right here in L.A. County. And joining us to talk about it now, this new bill that would make it illegal to sneak a cell phone into a uh, prison. Senator Alex Pen This bill become a law, but you also had the, uh, the bill about the NFL stadium in downtown L.A. also right. being signed by... Changing the face of war from an iPad. Steve Jobs' legacy is living on in a way you'd probably never expect. This is KTLA 5 Sunday Edition. We'll be right back. 
A female LAPD officer has recently made history. Captain. At least 24 people are dead and more than 200 injured tonight after Christians clashed with military police in Cairo. Chris Prince Harry is in Southern California for military training and he reportedly, well, he took a little break from that and he headed to San Diego this week and for some R&R. &R, Harry visited several San Diego night spots, including... Rick, LA County is expanding health care benefits to cover thousands of uninsured residents. The cheerleader who collapsed during a football game and later died is being remembered tonight. 16-year-old Angela Geddes was in the middle of a simple cheer routine. Rick, the Occupy Wall Street protest is entering its 24th day and spreading across the country. Protesters have gathered in more than a dozen U.S. cities, from Boston to Chicago to Atlanta, and of course, right here in Los Angeles. Barbara Hall has more. <laughs> All right, a movie about boxing robots knocks out the competition at the box office. Take a look.